for this uh, video lesson, senior high school students, um, I am going to teach you how to um, solve the mean, variance, and standard deviation of the discrete probability distribution. So let's say for this given problem, a box contains five balls, two are numbered one, one is numbered three, and two are numbered two. The balls are mixed and one is picked at random. After a ball is selected, its number is recorded and the same ball is returned in the box. The experiment is done repeatedly and the results are shown in the table. So solve for the variance and standard deviation of the balls. So first thing na gagawin natin is we will construct a table. Then after constructing a table, uh, we will use the following formula. So for mean, variance, and standard deviation. So first part natin is we will identify uh, the type of balls or the value for the random variable x for this given problem. Yung value ng random variable x natin dito, ito yung um, kinds or type of balls natin. We have number 1, number 2, and number 3. Dito naman siya sa problem. Next natin is uh, we will uh, find the probability of getting 1, getting 2, getting 3 uh, balls from a box contain 5 balls. So meron tayong sample space as 5. Ito yung denominator natin for this part. By the way, dito sa table natin, I will use the alternative way on how to solve for um, standard deviation and variance of the discrete probability distribution. And at the same time, I will convert um, yung given probability of x natin in um, in fraction into decimal. So like for example, in this case, for 1, what is the probability of getting 1? So you read the statement, 2 are numbered 1. So meron tayong 2 out of 5 chances. Then you have the statement, 1 is numbered 3. So meaning you have 1 over 5, or 1 is to 5. And then for uh, the next one is 2 are numbered 2. So meaning you have 2 um, over 5 or 2 pips. So we're done with the probability of x in the form of uh, fraction. How about for decimal? So we will try to convert yung mga values natin for the probability of x into decimal. So paano po yung gagawin? Press the equal sign and then yung numerator natin, yung 2, then division symbol, and then 5, or itong part ng um, denominator natin, and then press enter. Then you will have 0 0.40. So for this part, uh, by the way, Yung 2 over 5, di ba, per fraction, we can um, convert this given by dividing the numerator by the denominator. So the same thing with number 2 and number 3. Hanapin din natin yung probability of x in the form of decimal. So paano siya? We can apply yung the same concepts na ginawa natin kanina or we can um, copy itong part na to. So punta kayo sa part ng 0 0.40 and then press control C. And then highlight natin yung part for 2 and 3. And then control B. So this will be the results. So mayroon tayong 0 0.40 and then 0 0.20. So next natin for this given table, you have to multiply the value of x by the probability of x. The value of x with the probability of x, especially in decimal form, para mas madali. So the same thing, uh, press equal sign, then press 1, since ito yung first value of x. And then... Multiplication symbol, multiply natin with the probability of x and then press enter. So you will have 0 0.4. So the same approach, go to 0 0.4, control C, highlight this part and then press control B. So you will have 0 0.8 and then 0 0.6. So first thing naman solve natin in this uh, given table is the mean of the discrete probability distribution. We can mean, uh, we can solve for the mean of the discrete probability distribution by getting the summation of this part. Actually, itong first three, pwede naman na siya. So, we will highlight this section, then we will go to the part of insert, and then function, and then sum. Again, insert, function, and then sum, and then press enter. So, we will have 1.8 for our expected value or the mean of this given problem. So, next natin for um, the last column, consider the values for x, and then we will get the squared of that. And then we will multiply yung result natin with the probability of x. So equal sign ulit. You have 1. And then you have the exponent symbol. Then since squared siya, you press 2. And then 
multiplication symbol, and then 0 0.40, and then you press enter. So you will have 0 0.4. The next thing, punta tayo sa 0 0.4, control C, then highlight this part, control B, so you will have 1.6 and 1.8. So next thing natin is to solve for the summation of the last column. So to solve for the summation of the last column, highlight this part, then you go to insert, then function, and then sum. Then press enter. So you will have 3.8. So to solve for variance and standard deviation, consider the result uh, from this given column, especially for mean and the summation of the last column. So next thing natin, press equal sign. Diba yung first part ng variance natin, especially for the formula? Ito yung summation ng last column natin. So we will press 3.8. Next thing natin, upon pressing 3.8, o yung part ng 3.8, subtraction, and then press the part of mean, kasi nakalagay dito, mean squared. So you press um, mean, and then, ito tayo dun sa part ng exponent, and then you press 2 since mean squared. And then you press enter. So you will have 0 0.56 for your variance. Then for standard deviation, in order to solve for the standard deviation, Press equal sign. Consider the value for the variance. Press natin yung part ng variance. And then, um, exponent symbol. Yung square root kasi is, we can convert square root in fractional exponent as one half. So meaning, open and close parenthesis natin sa, uh, press natin yung one, division symbol, and then two, and then yung part ng uh, close parenthesis natin, and then we press enter. So we will have 0 0.483 as our standard deviation. Tong part na to, if we want to convert our answers to, um, or we will decrease yung um, de decimal places natin, pwede nyo i-press tong part na to para maging two decimal places lang. Then pag gusto naman natin dagdagan yung decimal places, uh, we can press this part. Okay, no? Babalik lang tayo doon. So for this given problem, the mean is equal to 1.8. The variance is 0 0.56 and the standard deviation is equal to um, 0 0.783. So that's all for our discussion about mean, variance, and standard deviation of the discrete probability distribution.